Hi guys, it's Otto from Motorized, and today I'll be showing you an easy way to take control of your motors once you've lost your uh, RTS remote control or when it's broken. Um, so we're going to show you how to do this and prevent a full reset where you have to reset your uh, end limits again. So this saves you a lot of time, it's a lot easier and very quick. But you need a few things. First of all, a replacement remote control, so a new one. Um, you need to be able to switch power on and off to the motor and you need something pointy, like this pen, um, to press the PROC button on the back of the remote. So let's get started. And first we're going to start with the power on and off sequence. The motor is currently uh, powered on, so I'm going to turn the power off for three seconds. That's one, two, three. Back on, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Back on for three, one, two, three and back up. Now the motor has moved and this is very important you need to uh, keep it moving so don't stop the motor when it's uh, when it's moving to uh, one or the other direction just make sure it stops out of itself um, and don't interrupt it. Um, if you do that um, then you need to start over again so that's something you need to avoid. If there's any danger of it rolling in too far or too low then of course you can stop it and just restart the procedure. Um, we don't have to do that here, so all you need to do now is take the right channel. So you select the right channel that you want to, uh, to control this motor from. I take channel 1, turn over the remote control, press the PROC button, the motor will respond, and now we have control of this motor without the need to reset the end limits. So it's a very easy and effective way to uh, replace a defective or lost remote control. Now if you have any problems or if you have any questions about this procedure, do let me know. The email address is info at motorized.it. That's motorized with an S. Thank you and see you in the next video.